So today we came out and we checked the acro supports on the bridge and at the same time we looked at the cross beam here. You notice that this cross beam here is rotten, as you can see it's all just perished. And what's happened now is it's split away from its support, which is this here. The beam should sit on that to support the bridge. But what's happened is it's dropped um, and the, the rot has set in that much and it's now all the way along here. You know, all these bits is just mobile. You can see it's just, it's just polystyrene, it's just falling to bits. So what we're going to do this afternoon, we're going to put a piece of wood in under it and a couple more supports to jack that whole piece of the bridge up. Otherwise, it's not supporting the length, the width of the bridge, unfortunately. But as you can see as well, this is the, on the bottom of this upright and it's just falling to bits, you know, it's just crumbling. So the work today right. will make it safe for visitors this for the meantime? It, yeah, this will make it safe and we'll, you know, we, we've got more work to do. But what it does is it just highlights just how important it is that we replace it. The Woollett Bridge is an incredibly important part of the landscape. It's part of the route through the walk, through the, the walk of art. Um, the bridge, I say, is quite iconic and quite important. You're coming off Grotto Island. It's continuing your journey. You're getting a glimpse from it of the mausoleum, a glimpse of the five arch bridge, a glimpse of the tent, a glimpse of the Temple of Bacchus on top of the hill, and it's leading you the next bit. And it, you know, it really is a very important part. And as I say, without it, you're not getting on or off Grotto Island unless you want to get wet feet or you want to swim. So it is an important part of, of, of the landscape. And what's happened to it that's damaged it? When it was constructed, a lot of the timbers were positioned end to end, so the grain can just wick up moisture, which is allowing them to rot. The bridge has been flooded um, a number of times over the last 10 years, um, quite well inundated. I mean, the last big flood we had, you could just about see the top handrail. Um, so it really did uh, suffer greatly. And then it, you know, we get these wonderful high temperatures. So it's going from one extreme to the other. Um, it's not in, you know, touch wood. It's not in imminent danger of collapsing like tomorrow, but you know we have got to do something about it because it's not going to last forever. I, th I think if you want to make a, a long-lasting um, donation towards Payne's Hill, you couldn't go much further than donating towards the, the Woollett Bridge. You know, it really is an iconic, important part. It's depicted in the paintings. It, it's been drawn in the 1760s. It's in all sorts of other images, the Green Frog Service for Catherine the Great and that sort of thing. So it's such an iconic part of the landscape to see. Um, and you know, and, it, and it'll be there in 50, 100, 200 years time. So it really is a long lasting donation. Well, thank you very much, Andy. You're welcome.